hey, let's all watch the game with the TV. So remember So what is the name? A name is not just like you, you just like one name. No, it's written in your own way. Maybe for example, I think I think I think I think I'm asking you to make a thing that I can tell you. We can put the same and video that we can show to the to our medium in the other way. I think that we can put the video to video that is here. Don't worry about it. I have no problem. 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 I So we need to create an HTML file or a CSV file. And in that CSV file, we can what you know about that can be accessed in two ways. Either we use a text box, what you see here, which then you can get to get access to your application. We are talking about that. You can also access that two ways. You can get an HTML file. And like I So what next? So next is the like I said, you can take us outside our way and that's how we get to use it. Then we see that once we have that we can use it. Don't forget to use the CSV if it's the first thing. Then you have your own um if it is follow me, do what I'm doing. What I'm doing. Don't forget your podcast. Keep coming out. Come out to you. Then you now go to your social media page. Your social media page dot Google dot com dot Google. You might be wondering why am I putting all these things here? Don't put the normal things here. Don't be like it's a bit long. It's a bit long. The reason is that if I put it out, then it's not going to be accessible. Why you see this video on social media and you're doing it? I'll go for it. Let me see what else someone's going to do. So you have to be careful. Make sure that you use those things. How to make it long, how to make it easy to do it. So that's it. So I'm using this app as a tool for us to go to Google Chrome. Right now I'm online now so I don't want to have so my wifi. So can you see Google Chrome page? Yeah, let's go back so you don't have Chrome page. So do you see? So uh you go to Chrome page, do your mouse, you know, this is your website, do your mouse to Google Chrome page, on it, take it directly to Google Chrome page. You Google Chrome page, you can now type on Google. What do you notice one thing that happened now? Immediately we went to Google Home page, we found out that our site is no more showing. So how do you be name such a way that our site will be showing? Probably this Google page will open a new page because you don't want users who come to visit your website to not start moving you. Like you've got to show them away from your site, which you are don't think they will like it. You all want to want them to remain your site. So let's open a new page. So how do you do that? What are the methods to do that? Let's go and let me show you how. You so like I said, you don't want your users or fans to come to your site to not be good for you from your site. But they are still visiting your site. They are still enjoying your site. So what do you do? Yeah, you still have to give a personal expression. 
to Ikene Stadium that people understand the head. What's the most important? Let's go over here. Let's come over here to our address. Melata.google.com. Put the space, then write targets. Okay, target. Target. Yeah, we put target. And in between the target, it should be. So let me explain what I did. Just type target equals to your normal Photoshop. Then in between the two, you put where you, you give your command. What is the command? Underscore blank. Okay. Just press shift underscore blank. Okay. So this way, let, let me not talk. Let's save it. Let's save it. Let me see that as we are watching it. And then what's going on? So let's go ahead. Before we go back there, let me show you something. You know that actually you can actually, like I told you before, you can put other tasks in between other tasks. They embed, they call it embed. You can embed that task or that task. For example, this Google homepage, I, I can decide to make it both. I can decide to make it like H1. I try to make it uh, H1. Maybe the heading should be bigger, you know, or to make it like sub. Remember our sub, SUB, smaller, or SUB for super. So I can or make it big or make it small. So yeah, let us just make it big. Let's, let's take it to H2, okay? H2. Try to be bigger, okay? Let's make it H2. So it's not to be text. Want it to be bigger, okay? To be bigger than what or is in here now, so that so it's all, it doesn't mean anything, but I'm just trying to let you know that you can still put in some tags in between tags and accomplish your goal as well. So this way the Google home page will be very, very big, okay? Okay. So like remove the Google home page. Google page. Okay. And the home page. So save it, save your work. So you see it is bigger now, right? I think it's big now. So let's click again. You see what happened? Let me make it bold so I want it to be I make it bold so I understand. I think you are listening very well. So this is Google home page. When you click on it, what happened? Do you notice something there? It navigates your way. This is your site. Where you already are as you're doing your work, but the main to click this your site, student website, you see student website. Now, mainly you click it, what they do, underscore blank, you take it another home page, will open another page for you for Google. They cannot come to the page and do whatever you want to do. Okay. And remember, it's not just Google, you can come to any URL like this, like this one. Let's let me go out of Google. Let me let me put another thing. Let me put another thing. Okay, let me put let me give, let me give you my website. Let me use my website as an example right now. So you understand that you can use not just the Google, you can use any website at all. Give it here and I'll tell you it will go exactly where you direct it. Okay. My website is Steven.com for those who don't know it. Steven is E-I-V-E-N. Steven.com. And you want to go to my blog, my blog is Steven.com slash news. That will take you to my blog. So right now I'm taking it to my website. I'm taking it to my website. Take it to my website. Let's move away from Google. HTTPS is event.com. It has my website, event.com. Okay. Feel free to visit my site. You can go to my site. When you want to join my site, please check it out. Because I do that by using WordPress. I do that by using WordPress as well. Don't worry about it. You save it. Now that you save it, come over it. Come over it. Okay. Never mind. So it's like, https address event.com okay and here you see what's happening now the site has changed to event.com but when you come to your that you are seeing google home you know why let me show you the reason is because if you check here that's what i told you that any don't it can't be google home page you check this place where we work that there is google home page but right now we are in event.com so that's what I say. Each time you you put your website here, make sure that you see the same website this way. Now I've got person at Google Home page. I've got to see what's happening now. I'm supposed to be seeing the event of time. So I've got a lot of past instructions to my 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 internet code. You need to put the same code. You must have the same code. Can't use for you. So I've got to put that there. So once you change any, make any change, come over here and make the change. So here I'm supposed to put student website or student home page. Okay. Are you getting it? Are you learning? I behave you well. Please put on smash my like button, subscribe to my channel so that you can be getting more of my content. Because I'm gonna teach you a lot of things. I'm gonna say I'll teach you a lot of things. Steven home page, or you can say Steven website, if you want to talk, okay? Steven home page. 
his name is so good. And you see what happened now in my life. David, you see, at this Google home page, he made so possible. And that's exactly what the fact that I'm doing. So, country save as you know. You see, he's a country. Let me make it big. So, you see why it's always not the fact that I give it to your side. You see, it's only what you get. But change your side, change your side. So, let's click on it and see what will happen. Let's click on it. Remember, target on that for blank. I'll take it another page. And this is my page. Did you see? Are you learning something? Oh, congratulations. You are now you are progressing. So we've done this. Let's continue. This is for website. But I told you before that it's called it doesn't see me. It can be your about page. It can be your contact page. So you just need to move away from where you are currently. Maybe your contact page, maybe your about page, maybe your product page. You know, you want to see the website, you see. Click right to go to the digital world. You can also click on what you want to do. Or you click product. Or you start that. You click education. Or you click, you know, you click. Or you see call to ask. Or you see subscribe. You see submit. And you can click on it. That's what I'm talking about. That is exactly what we are doing now. We're almost starting your job. That's why we are talking about links. Help you to accomplish all your tasks. There are so many. Go all these things that link and help you to accomplish. So right now, I want to do another one. I want to go to our this or this website. I've already created a about page. As you can see, this is my about.html. I've created my contact page, contact.html. So I want to navigate to my about page and my contact page. So for us to do that, let's create a link that will take us there. Okay. So come down and same your user, press A and click on the A. I already explained it. I don't know there's many anything again. Then here, what you do is you put about.html. About.html. HTML about dot HTML okay page ref equals to about dot HTML there is a mistake here let me correct it about it's not supposed to be class it's supposed to be about dot HTML okay About dot HTML, okay. Your age ref may let your age ref you put here about about dot HTML. Yeah, that's it. About dot HTML. Then here you can put it about page or about seven or about us. I will know you are going to about page of them. Let's say about us. About just about us. But it's all about you. Okay. About us. As usual, save it. Save it. Save it. Then the image you save it. It also appears. You go like that. Come over here. See that home page. The next one is about. It's not showing right now. Maybe I made a mistake. But don't worry, any mistake made there will be corrected here. You don't need to worry, don't need to fear. Let's clean it up. Hmm. We want to create another another HRS ad. Please, yes. Go back to navigation menu. Press your A. Click on it. And it should, this should be about dot HTML. About dot HTML. And your uh, usual control save. Control save. Then I'm now so about it. So after the about your HTML, as usual, you come to the middle, and when you are right, write about us. Just write about us or about Sweden, okay? Or you, I'm putting Sweden, but you, you know what you put. You can put anything that you put, okay? We are going to put about about page. So just put about Sweden, okay? And as usual, click on your page, save it. The message you said some of our here is here. Let me make it look like this. This, see, I'm about Sweden. Now click on about Sweden. Let's what happen. It's what happened. It took you to about us. And right there in about us, I already created a link that will take us back to home page. This is the link that takes us back to home page. 
and these are part of the freedom. These are things to back them. So let's what you do. You can for you can either part of us, you know, don't worry that the fact that it's just right, 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 and white and white flag, you know, we are coming to CSS. And that's the CSS used to become a full blown website for you. So you see how you navigate on the website. Okay. Don't worry about this thing you are seeing now because you yeah, gradually will get there. So click on about page back and it will bring you back to your your season to create your own particular home page. Are you learning something? Now I want to give you an assignment. I actually let me take you to my about page. This is my about page. You see that there is nothing changed there. What was I put is exactly what I put here. Your paragraph. Yeah, I leave my paragraph. I put my paragraph. Put for key. Then I make sure I put them on H3, H2. You know, I think H2 and H3 are talking about H2 and H2. I take those things and lend them again. So after lending them, I want you to create your own about page. Talk about yourself. Talk about what you can do and create your about page. Talk about yourself. Talk about what you can do and create your about page. Then write in your about page, create a href. And in that href, link to index.html. If you remember, index.html is your home page. So link in there. Once you link there, that means you can move from your about page to your home page. You can move from your home page back to your about page. So link it up together. Then after that, go and use it for your contact page. Create a contact page. Look at my contact page. I actually create a contact page. This is my contact page. This is it. So create your contact page. Why your contact page? You exactly the same thing as here. Anything you forget, go back and let your paragraph, how to do paragraphing, how to do your your list, how to do all those things. Blend them again. You need to create your contact page. Then link your contact page using this which I'm teaching you now. Link it back to your home page as well. And link your home page to your contact page as well. So this way you accomplish this. Okay. So having said that this is your assignment, do it. Let me know what you've done. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. So let's go back and continue what you are doing. You are still on that link. So now I want to also link my contact page. I've already linked my about page. Let me link my contact page. So maybe from there, if you're forgotten something, you can still learn about link again. So let me link it up. Let me link it up again. Just as usual, press your in. Click it to link. What if I want to link my contact page? So just write contact dot page. Contact dot html. Contact dot what html. Then from there, press follow. But you still understand me. But in computer, do you learn to miss anything in coding? Computer can't understand you. So you must be exact. You must give computer exactly what you want. Like it's garbage in, it's garbage out. But you give computer not to reply. That's the way you are coding, where you are programming. You have to be very, very careful. Make sure you understand the language very well and use it very well. Okay? So, contact.html, and here I will put contact us page. Contact us page. Contact us page. Hope you are following. Hope you are learning. So, save as usual. And when you come here, you see contact us page is here, about us page is here, why our home page is here. So, so let's click on contact us page. It brings us to contact us page. Let me make it go to understand it. All these things I wrote, you know, you know what I you know what I did at this. Uh -huh. You use your H1 for this, you use your paragraph, you use your you understand you, you everything. So let's go back to our home page as well. We come back to our home page. So are you getting it? Mm -hmm. Now we've done about how you can link all your website together, your about page, your contact page, your product page, your service page, anything you can think of. Now, how do you create your product? Another word, image. How do you put image on your website? You see that I can also use link to put image on your website. Right? Let me see. Now, why am I able to create this navigation link? Simply because I have a URL, a native URL. Native URL simply means that they are in the same directory. You look at, you see about us, about the TTMA, you see contact the TTMA, you see in there's the TTMA. So that's why it's very easy. Once you just put address, you link it up, you type it, and it will immediately open for you because they are in the same directory. So if you are using native URL to get this, okay? But sometimes they are in the same directory, what do you do? You now use subdirectory. I also teach that you can use subdirectory to get this one, okay? So, but you know why I'm able to get this? That you must be in the same direction, must be in the same folder. You must save it. For example, if my student is 
other uh, remember I will click new file and we create a uh, 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 index.html. So that's why you also click on new file and create a bar.html. New file uh, contact.html. New file product.html. New file you know if you want to create the same file, the same directory. Okay. And once you use the same directory, if you want to link it up, you can link it up just using this link up. But if it's not the same directory, then you have to use some directory to link it up. From there, there I was talking about. Okay. Now let me show you how you can go from the one that is here on top directory and not directly and by this page three. This particular statement is not with this, it's outside all of this. So how do we get to this page? The same thing, let's come to your page first. This is your page. Come to your page. Yeah. Come to it. Then here, instead of just typing page three, you say will not recognize it. What do you do? You will first of all die. Okay, this is directory. V I R V I R directory one. Okay, directory one. Directory one. Sorry, directory one. Okay, the one. Before you now put your, then you now write page three dot html. Page three dot HT html. Do you get it? Page three dot html. Then now here you as user. Put your title very well, page three. And do your controls. Try it up here. And you click on it, it's just navigate to a way. See, page that one page. I didn't put anything there, but it is showing. So this is how you can navigate and get all of these straight away. Okay. So this is how you can do it. Let's now go ahead and move on to the next class. The one we want to talk now is about email. Let's talk about email. Okay. But just know that this is how you can go for top direct for that directory that is not on the same. So <clears throat> let's have now link to images. I might try link other images on my website. For example, I have some bunch of images here. That uh, is web dot jp all image all the jpg are all images. So let's now link to one of them. What do you do? As usual, press for you, then you then uncock it, then you bring it in and put what do we have. Let's use let's just take this about us or about us in seven dot png. No, one to is okay. Let's just do c c dot png. No, cool. Let's do code dot jpg. Code dot jpg. You just put your code dot jpg. You understand jpg? That is actually jpeg, okay? Jpeg format. Mm. So here you put image. But well, sometimes better to write the name of the image, don't just put image, you write the name of the image, okay? Image. Let me image code or code image. Let's use code image. That code stands for seven image, okay? So code image. So you know, you can also make it bigger, bolder. You know, you can add anything to it. You can add it to it. Add it to it. It's a product, okay? So you know how to do those ones. You don't want to go and add anything. See controls, and then go back to your directory. Let's see how it's showing. Let's see how it's showing. Mm -hmm. So it's really some around. We, go. we are going to. Sorry, I'm not there. Let me go back to my index. Open a light server so I can know what I'm doing. So this is cool. This is cool image. Okay. Click on the cool image and it takes you to the picture. See the picture? The cool image. This is where the picture is. So don't think that I know this is where the picture is. Okay, let me take another picture so I can know that there is where the picture is. Let me just let's do another. So click on your A once again. 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 And let's put uh, let's put web dot let's use contact dot jpg contact. Contact dot contact dot jpg 
contact.jpg then contact image contact image this is a save your work and go back to your this and click on contact image save let me put it oh the spelling is not correct sorry that is why i'm telling you always make sure that your spelling is correct everything you do should be correct and accurate if not what you make any mistake HTML doesn't pardon anybody. You always make sure that your work you do is correct and it's what accurate. Those things you only be on your mind. So don't make mistakes. So let's do one. This is hpo.jpg. hpo.jpg. You can just save. Contact JPG and let's change it to HO image now. No more contact image. HO image. Which HO stand for home. So I'm just saying image for my home, or you can call it home image, okay? Doesn't necessarily need to be. I just put in this out and get what I want to. So click on it. You see, it's open straight away. And if you have to put images, you can let me make it go try to see the complete image. So this is the image you see on my website. That's why I call it home image, my home page of my website. Okay. So I teach you this is what you need to know. I've shown you from all angles that as a matter of fact, you can actually use link, link other websites like Google, any website you want to link to your site, you can link it up. I've shown you how you can also use uh, underscore blank. You make sure that you can get underscore blank, make sure that you don't like take away from your site. Make sure that you can also link your page to other page, put in your page directly, put in other site directly, how you can link them up. So this is all I use. There are more to know about link. Try your best, couple more, get more facts about it. Once again, thank you for, for being patient with us in Student Academy. Let's continue to the next.